Frank Beamer is known for bringing Beamer Ball to Virginia Tech. Yeah, and now his son Shane is doing the same, championing the reboot of Beamer Ball at South Carolina. Our sports director, Appy, sat down with him, learning more about how he is making their football machine go. Well, I can tell you the values are the same, the core values. The name, not really, and there's a reason for that. They don't call it Beamer Ball in South Carolina. The reason for that is pretty sure the Hokies have a copyright on that. But dare I offer up Beamer 2.0. It's alive and well in South Carolina, where Shane Beamer has been busy leaving the family mark on a football program. It's football season in the South. The humidity weighs on you like a hot, steamy blanket. But in Columbia, South Carolina, the weather bows down to the breath of fresh air that is second-year head football coach Shane Beamer. There's always excitement when a new coach comes in, but I think it certainly helped the fact that I had been here before and I was outspoken about how much I wanted to be here and how much I, I love this place. And I think people saw that and realized it was real and genuine. And, and then obviously having some success on the field during the season only amplified that. The son of Hall of Famer Frank Beamer burst onto the SEC football scene like a mid-afternoon thunderstorm, injecting the South Carolina program with a lightning bolt of energy that is as undeniable as his social media presence. For me, it's trying to promote, promote this program and, and just a glimpse into what I'm about. And uh, I feel like I'm the same person. Obviously, the responsibilities are different, but I feel like I'm the same person that I was as an assistant coach. It's just I'm in a much magnified chair. Uh, but we've got a fantastic team around me of our social media department and things like that. So if you're asking me if I came up with um, different ideas for videos and things like that, no, I had nothing to do with that. But when they give me an idea, I'm pretty quick to say yes because of how talented the people we are here at Carolina are. The flood of energy in his first head coaching job resulted in the Gamecocks rising to a seven-win season that included a bowl victory. As season two blows on in, what makes this Shane storm of success sustainable is the foundation of old school values, Beamer Ball at its core, blended with new school technology, necessary for today's climate, a climate his legendary father wasn't bombarded with until the end of his career. Can South Carolina be to you what Virginia Tech was to your dad? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think success is very sustainable here. You're right, it is a different time. You know, in my dad's six year, uh, he hadn't gone to a bowl game yet. You know, if I was here and we didn't go to a bowl game in our first six years, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have seen the third or fourth year. Um, it's just a different time. But certainly when you talk about the ability to sustain, sustain success, we certainly can here. This is a community that my family and I, we love living in, a uh, state we love to live in. We have, I've said it before publicly, and I believe it, we have everything that we need to be successful here and win at the highest level, uh, on and off the field from a resource standpoint. Shane's college path gathered knowledge like a methodical hurricane moving across the eastern U.S., sweeping over top programs, including his dad's at Virginia Tech. But despite all the stops at high-profile places, it's Beamer Ball that shows up most often in the future forecast. The way that I believe you win football games and, and dominating the fourth quarter and being able to run the ball and stop the run and be explosive and win the turnover battle, you know, those are a lot of things that my dad, you know, hung his hat on. And, and I'm probably, I get asked all the time, you know, uh, where you, coaches you've been around and all that, uh, what all you've taken from them, and I really feel like I've taken more from my dad than anybody. And our assistant coaches kid me all the time that, yes, I'm young and high energy, but they kid me like I'm very, very much an old school coach. What remains constant in the midst of this turbulent college competition, his family support and his family values. It's great, and to be able to have them at all of the home games and <clears throat> for them to be able to get down here close for my children's uh, sports activities and school activities and things like that, uh, it's so great. While the leading edge of this storm is in Columbia, clearing the Gamecocks path to victory, its eye remains rooted in Blacksburg, still spinning, powerful as ever. People pay money to park to then walk all the way down Bluff Road to then climb up this ramp and these steps like we just did 
to watch you play. I sat down and things that we wanted our program to be about love, gratitude, positive energy, trust, toughness, accountability, competition. You know, those are all, all things that I've always believed in as a coach and as a person uh, throughout my life. And then when I got hired here and I sat down with these players in this program and kind of listened to them about what their needs were, and where they felt like we needed to go and what we needed to do to get there, those values were things that we needed in this program at the time. So it was really cool for me to be able to say, okay, this is what I want this program to feel like and look like. And then here's the players telling me, this is what we need and it's the exact same thing. So that part has been easy. All right, and coming up at six, you have to be wondering what Shane thinks about Brent Pry taking over at his alma mater. That reaction on 10 Sports at six, so stay.